welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Sarah and I'm so happy to have you here. As you can tell from the title, this is my closet tour. This is my most requested video. Honestly, if you've been watching me from the very beginning, even up until my latest video, if you are new here, everybody asked me for a closet tour. I got DMs, I got comments, and honestly, like I even said in my last video, I really wanted to do this for you guys, but there's so many things I want to add more into my closet, but you guys still want to see it and I said if you guys want to see it comment down below I will still do this for you and then down the road I will do an updated closet tour so I will take you through everything where I got everything my most sentimental stuff my most favorite clothing items you can count on me I will take you there I will also link it down below as much things as I can remember or find for you I will take care of you guys and without further ado let me take you on a closet tour my favorite place in my whole house and I will take you through as if you were coming in this room yourself so if you guys were coming into my closet this is the first thing that you guys see you guys see my beauty table. Okay. And this is the table where I do all of my makeup. And honestly, this whole drawer is filled and I have so much stuff downstairs also in one of my, um, like my beauty boxes. So I definitely wanna show you guys more in depth of all the makeup, maybe give you guys like a makeup tour. And yeah, cause it's a lot and this video would take forever. So this is mostly about my closet, but I definitely want to show you guys my little setup here. This is my fragrance section. Eventually I'm going to add a bunch of shelves here and I'm gonna add um, probably these somewhere just for decoration. By the way, I get a lot of questions about these. When I worked in the fragrance business, these are called fractis. It's pretty much fake. It's all pretty much water inside, but I love them and they were giving them away at work or else they were going to toss them. And I'm like, heck no, I want these babies. And I actually had a Chanel one for men's. It was a men's cologne and I gave it to my dad and he loves it. So after the beauty section, you have the main attraction. This is my clothes area. This is where I keep most of my stuff. Believe it or not, I know this is a lot. I actually have more stuff in a different closet, like where I have more gowns and stuff like that because I didn't have room to put it all here. And this is why I said my closet is not complete. Eventually I wanna have everything up here. That way I can give you guys an updated tour. And obviously for my sake, it's all in one section. So the main thing I always get asked about all of this section is where I got it from, who made it, how did I put it together, and honestly, this was all from Ikea. I really, really love their stuff, and the reason why I love their stuff is it's very good quality in my opinion. And number two, my husband actually was the person who designed all of this online, which you could do on Ikea, and he asked me everything that I wanted, and he put it all together. He put everything together in the sense of designing it and actually putting it together itself, because as you know, or you may know, Ikea has really a lot of pieces when you order stuff so i think this took him about four hours or so and honestly that was pretty quick so i really really like i will go into details with everything but i have some rollout stuff and i have some clear sections here and what's really cool i have this right over here hello again and it just pulls out and my trick so whenever I get my hair done, or I do my hair actually, I always look like right back there and I'm like, wait, did I miss a spot? Did I get it all? Story of my life, long hair problems. <laughs> but this is really, really cool and it's so useful. Honestly, when I first got it, I thought it wasn't useful, but then after time, you know, I definitely found use for it. Like I said, I really wanna you know, decorate and do some more things to my closet. So I have this corner here where I have a bunch of stuff, you know, some um, 
Like this is a little stand that has the Gucci flora and you guys know I love fragrance. If you don't know, you know I'm obsessed. So um, I just wanna do it as like a decoration of maybe like a Gucci section or something like that. And then these flowers right here, these beautiful flowers of mine, I know they're kind of like all over the place, but they are actually the flowers that I got the night that my husband proposed to me. So these are forever going to be somewhere in my closet or somewhere in my house because I absolutely love them and they're super sentimental to me. And I'm a very sentimental person. These Burberry boots are one of my favorite boots if I had to choose one. Not because it's Burberry, it's because I, when I used to sell fragrances and cosmetics, I used to get gift cards. And this was my very first gift card that I got. And it was exactly the amount of these boots. So honestly, they were meant to be. And I, every time I look at them, I think how wonderful it was to win that gift card, especially because it was such a challenge to sell, you know, Burberry fragrances or whatever it was. I can't remember what it was for, but I'm assuming Burberry. And right here is where the closet part of the clothes actually start, but these are the shoes and they go all the way down here. And what I really, really love about this section, you would think Actually, wait, you would think they'd be right there. I have two Louboutins. One of them, I cannot even tell you the name of them. Let me just show you. They're really, really cute and different, but yeah, they're just very, they remind me of Carrie Bradshaw. I'll just leave those there for now. And the other ones are Pigels. They're just the normal kind of nude patent high heels. But my favorite are these shoes right here. I used to play travel basketball and I remember my parents got me these and I was obsessed. I absolutely love it and I will always, always have it no matter how old I am. And if you look up, these are some of my purses. Now what I wanna do is I wanna end up um, making this whole section just sneakers because I actually have a lot more sneakers. They're just other places of the house and I wanna make this section just sneakers and then eventually have a spot where I just have my purses. And then if you look up, those were my Burberry boots, the box, and just if you just look up all the way there, I have some boxes there. And then here, something about me. I'm obsessed with hoodies. I cannot get enough. I try to color coordinate them. <laughs> and my very first one, of course, Tupac. My love, I love Tupac. And yeah, there's some random sweaters that I have. I also love this one because this is a Miami Heat. Gotta love Miami. Shout out to Miami. And then here I have just some random like vests or jackets. And yeah, I actually, fun fact, I used to work for Audi. So it's funny, the first two that I noticed are like these two. And I have my, my jean jackets. I try to co like coordinate all the type of materials together or colors. It just makes it very easy for me when I am picking out my clothes or outfits. I can't stand when something's like all over the place. And then here I have some shoes, of course. You know, it just keeps going on. <laughs> so after this section, if you look here, this is what you guys mostly see in the background. I have some crop tops. So these are like my crop top section. I love this. I think this was from Forever 21, I wanna say. Let's see. Yeah, Forever 21. So these are just like my crop tops. Again, I try to like coordinate them. Kind of like, it's hard to, especially when there's prints, but I try the best that I can and they might be unorganized a little bit right now. But, you know, it's the best that I can do for the moment. I'm obsessed with hydrangea. Actually, for our wedding, I had huge hydrangea trees. So any hydrangea flowers just makes me so happy. Here I have some magazines. If you know me, you know, I am mourning still the loss of Luke Perry. I love him, still do. He is amazing, I would say was amazing. And then I have some candles here. This was actually a gift with purchase for Yves Saint Laurent. It was part of their manifesto launch when they, like this is how long that's been. If you know fragrance, I mean, this is an old, old fragrance that came out a while ago. And here, this is one of also my favorite parts. So I love sunglasses, jewelry, as you can tell. And so this drawer, 
that opens up right here. I have these are all empty. The only ones that I have here that are not, and I have to leave them in the case to me because they're so sentimental, is these Ray-Ban glasses. I will show you guys what they look like. These are actually, these were my father's and I absolutely love them because they're all glass and I feel like it's very hard to find Ray-Bans that are glasses. And honestly, these are probably like 20 years old or so, but he gave these to me because he knows I would take care of them and I really have been. So I really, really love these. And again, those are just empty. And then here I have some of my favorite gold jewelry. My favorite color is turquoise or aqua. So this is pretty much all that, like that section. This is so cute. This is a Marc Jacobs G with P2. This was their decadence fragrance. And this was a really cool thing that we wore on the launch of their fragrance. And this actually is kind of like the evil eye in a way, but I actually got this as a gift from one of my mom's cousins at my henna. And I always love that. So again, it's like the color scheme more than what it symbolizes that I really, really love. And yeah, so these are all of my necklaces. I would say my gold necklaces. And it continues. So here I like to have my Swarovski uh, bracelets. I actually won this. I was a top seller in Canada for Juicy Couture. So that's a watch and this is all Swarovski crystal in the back. I love it. And these are Swarovski. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with Swarovski and they're one of my favorite brands, especially for jewelry. I just really love their stuff. And there's a watch missing here because I have it on right now. This It's a Michael Kors. And here I have my other watches. I also won this. This is a Marc Jacobs watch. And why I left, a lot of people might think, wow, you must have had the most amazing job. I really did. And maybe one day I'll do a, you know, story for you guys of why I left. And yeah, so this is all my jewelry here. My gold jewelry, I would say like my hoops, my bangles or bracelets. These are like my accessories and hats and scarves and whatnot. And this was a custom made hat. It's a Tupac hat. Somebody gave this to me. They had the other one in Detroit, you know, gotta represent. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is just some like headpieces, belts, Gucci hat. This is a vintage in the night from the 90s. My cousin actually gave me that. So that was really sweet of her. She gave that to me a long time ago. These are just some scarves. And it's so funny. So this this barrette I actually got. We have a place in Canada called Reitman's, and I actually like never really go in there. But we went in there, my mom and I, and I saw this, and it was originally like thirty dollars, but down to three or four dollars. I can't really remember, but I love it. And honestly, I gave all mine away a long time ago to my niece, and I've been loving them lately. So, you know, I had to get it back. Oh, by the way, and I love this hat. Ain't Laurent without Eve. You know it. <laughs> and down there, I'm not really gonna show you guys. It's just like my PJs and personal stuff. Let me just put that there. So going on this section here, these are mostly like my random tops that I have. And I really, really like, you know, logo t-shirts like 90210. I think I have two. No, this is Lagerfeld. And I have another one actually, it might be in the wash. But here, this is a very sentimental section for me because my grandma passed away and I have some of her stuff, some of her belongings. And um, this is my one of my favorite bags. This is this Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And in my next video, actually, I am showing you guys a what's in my bag video. So subscribe hit the notification bell because you will get notified when this video is out but i promise you you guys won't want to miss this because it's a very very good video i go more in depth about my bag and what i have inside obviously because it's a once in my bag video and here i have the silver section of my necklaces i you can tell i have like if i compare i have like way more gold than silver jewelry even 
when I pull the other one out and you will see. But here I have now the sunglasses that are out again. There is only one in the case. I have some prescription glasses and I have the other one is in the living room. And yeah, so here are some, and I, these are rosaries, so I don't really wear them, but I wanted a, a safe place to keep them, so I just leave them here. And here, I left the gold one open so you guys can see. I definitely have way more gold than silver but that's okay i actually like to mix sometimes and you know of course not everything needs gold jewelry so i do like to have some silver jewelry and when i worked for clinique they had um i don't know if it was a collab or something going on with tiffany but every time i would get a christmas gift or a anniversary gift so it depends on how many years you are working for them you get something so this is actually a clinique slash like Tiffany and Co. And what I like to do, I just put the backing earrings in there because a tip, I think these are from Michaels, but they are like rubber. And anytime I need a backing, especially for costume jewelry, I always go there. And here I have just some bracelets. Here I have some earrings. And actually these are um, very sentimental to me. My mom gave these to me on my wedding day. They're beautiful hoops and some pearl bracelets these this is like my turquoise kind of aqua area bangles and here i have some bracelets another aqua one um, my dad got me this he always gets me stuff wherever he goes so this is from cuba i think this was a matching like bracelet and then this right over here is a beautiful Swarovski necklace how gorgeous is this? It, this is like a bluish aqua color. It's so beautiful and of course so sentimental because my husband got it for me and I absolutely love it. It's one of those things like even if you wear something kind of, you know, not so like fancy, you can just add it and all of a sudden your whole look is put together. You know, I really believe that accessories are everything. Here I have some of my Clinique pins because I was a Clinique consultant and some keychains, some random stuff, you know. And here, if you've watched some of my makeup videos, you know that I always, you know, talk about how I worked in the fragrance business as this video. There's so many things I have from working there, but I would always get these like little bags or I would call them G with peas. And honestly, I love them because they've become super, super useful. Like I even got this Gucci one and I mean, it's beautiful, I love it. This is just uh, one of the things that I love also that I got are these mirrors. These are so, so, so cool. Hey. And this I really like because, you know, when you're on the go and you wanna be stylish, you just kind of put one of these in your purse and there you go. So there's that. This is a Gucci one. Again, I would get a bunch of these as G with P's, gift with purchases. This is one of my favorite clutches right here. This is just a Burberry clutch. And I love it. There's the straps on the inside. But they're one. it's one of my favorite clutches because it just goes with everything. And it's also a crossbody. So it's like multi-use, which I really, really like. So if you look right over here, I have some card holders or these little cute pouches. Like this one is a Balenciaga one. And I really, really like it because if you are wearing a smaller purse and you don't have room for your wallet per se, you know, you just get a card holder or a little pouch. And honestly, it's perfect. I like ones that have a zipper if they aren't card holders because that way I can make sure that everything is nice and secure. His Here's a Juicy Couture one. And again, these were just a bunch of gift with purchases that I just always like kept. And I really, really love them. This is a cute like little bag that has a Chanel mirror in there. I got a bunch of brushes one year for Christmas and that's just what it came in. So it's really, really cute. And here's a really cute like Prada little backpack. And again, same with down there, those are just some personal clothing and then if you look right over here, these are where I have my skirts. I love skirts. If I had to choose one that's my favorite, it's this like floral tool and it is so, so, so cute. And this one right here, I actually haven't worn this one yet. This is from Zara 
and I love it because it's so like different and it's very like tight fitting and form fitting and I just like I love that I do have extra like two pants right here I always forget I have them because they are not down here but thank God for this video because now I can remember to wear them and here is one of my biggest tips that I have if you are getting a closet like this. This right here is everything. This right here literally saves me so much time. It's honestly appealing to look at because it's just nice and organized. It goes right back in and I really, really love it. I have so much sweatpants and joggers, so I added them here, and then I tried to color coordinate my uh, pants or jeans. Here I have some shoes, some boots, and these actually I really, really like because these are so different. Like, how cool is that? And then if you look over here, we have some purses, we have some shoes, and as you can tell, I have shoes and then I have shoes right in the middle, like a random pair because I literally do not have room and they go all the way to the back. But this is pretty much everything in depth. So everyone, this was my closet tour. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I answer some questions that you guys may have had of my backdrop, my infamous backdrop of my closet. It's nice that I got to show you guys the other side because you guys always see this side. And as promised, you know, I can always give you guys a makeup, you know, kind of collection tour because I have so much. And honestly, it wouldn't be fair to put it all in this video. It's a lot. And I would love to tell you guys, you know, maybe what's my favorites, etc., where I got everything. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe because I have some amazing videos coming up and like i mentioned earlier what's in my bag video is coming up next it should be out next week and i'm so 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 happy to show you guys that because it is one of my favorite bags i enjoy watching those types of videos and it was actually requested from one of my subscribers but i love you all so so much and i hope that you have the most amazing day ever